वेलकम टू व्यवहारे नेत्रालय वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट किराटोकोनस द कॉर्निया इज द क्लियर राउंडेड लेयर ऑन द फ्रंट ऑफ युअर आईज द कॉर्नियाज फोकस लाइट एंटरिंग युअर आय सो दैट यू कैन सी क्लिअरली लाइक द विंडशिल्ड ऑफ अ कार दे आर द क्रिस्टल क्लिअर बॅरियर बिटवीन युअर आईज अँड द वर्ल्ड द कॉर्निया इज सपोज टू हॅव अ राऊंड शेप बट किराटोकोनस इज अ डिसीज इन विच the cornea becomes progressively cone shaped when the cornea becomes distorted like this the light can't focus on the back of your eye and blurring your vision over time in advanced cases the cornea becomes cloudy which would feel like a snow on your windshield the first signs of keratoconus typically appears in your preteen or teenage years the disease has a strong association with down syndrome affecting up to one in every three people with down syndrome other risk factor is include excessive eye rubbing chronic allergies and eyelid inflammation and having a family history of keratoconus your ophthalmologist or optometrist will look for early signs of keratoconus during eye examination keratoconus is a progressive eye disease meaning once it starts it will continue to get worse glasses and hard contact might help blurry vision for now but neither will stop the cornea from continuing to become more and more cone shape eventually leading to visual loss early surgical intervention helps to stop the progression preserving your vision corneal collagen cross linking is a primarily invasive surgery that stops the progression of keratoconus by making the cornea more rigid corneal cross linking is a preventive surgery so it will not improve vision that is already blurry from keratoconus the goal of the procedure is to protect your current level of vision by locking the cornea into its current shape which will prevent future visual loss and prevent more invasive procedures such as corneal transplantation down the road to start the procedure younger patients are typically put to sleep under general anesthesia and older patient may be awake during the procedure the cornea has layers and corneal cross linking works by strengthening some of those layers your surgeon begins by placing a ring on the cornea and applying alcohol eye drops to loosen the outermost layer called epithelium the epithelium is wiped away exposing a thick layer called the stroma which contains a binding protein that is called as collagen vitamin i drops are applied for about 30 minutes until they are absorbed through the stroma the drops are repeated until your cornea is thick enough for the next day next your surgeon will shine a special uv light on the cornea the uv light and the vitamins absorbed from the eye thus perform a chemical reaction that strengthens the collagen bond in the stroma making the cornea more rigid so it will be locked into its current shape and will not continue to be continue to become a more cone shaped finally a numbing eye drops and a soft contact lenses are applied to act as a bandage while your eye heals for patients with keratoconus in both eyes the procedure is usually done into two separate sittings a shield will be placed over your eye before you go home which would be on the same day you will need to return for multiple visits so that your ophthalmologist can make sure your eyes is healing properly once at home you will need to apply antibiotic and steroid eye drops at least four times per day for the first week then just the steroid drops for the next month your eye may feel uncomfortable right after the procedure you can use the pain relievers and avoid a bright sunlight as you recover your eye doctor will continue to monitor your vision during your regular vision checkups thank you for watching